All right, folks. Surprise, surprise. It's Puppy Surprise. It's an old commercial from the 80s and early 90s. You guys probably don't know it. Uh, anyway, um, I thought I was opted out of this uh, by the club themselves. The last time I had gotten any sort of Loot Crate, it was because I emailed them and said, Hey, am I still part of Loot Crate DX? And they were like, Oh, sorry, we're behind in some shipping. So they sent me my last couple, and I didn't get any. And I thought, again, maybe I had been opted out. But lo and behold, they were just behind on shipping again. <laughs> <coughs> Whoa, <coughs> sorry, attack of the throat noise right there, uh, before I started this video I took a couple, uh, a couple small little rips off the O-pen, and, uh, right, say that two times fast, open, open, right, <laughs> anyway, uh, so, where was I, um, this is a Loot Crate DX, I believe this is February's, because the last one I did was January, uh, the quote is on the wrong, like if I flip it over you can see my address, but the quote is, I do not stand by in the presence of evil. If you don't know what that is, uh, that's alright, because I didn't know either and I actually had to look it up. Because I did look it up though, I do have a slight clue as to what's in this box, um, and I'm no expert as, if that is what it is, I'm no expert as to anything, you know, like I don't, anyway. Uh, we're gonna do the little one-two Pikachu here, the the little Pikaruni, and uh, <laughs> I don't know, guys. We're gonna do this, and uh, we're gonna ready. We're just it's just gonna be a quick. Okay, okay. Um, in all honesty, I didn't see a whole lot of what was in there because I was looking, um, making sure everything was in frame when I lifted the. Uh, cover so I don't know what's in here uh, any more well than you do really but you have an opportunity to pause and take a look I didn't sorry this is real life uh, anyway we'll move the box over here and start taking out product by product so the first thing we have here I wish I had a bigger table uh, it's a long sleeve t-shirt type thingy um, it says what I can only assume is Iron Man in Chinese or Japanese. Um, I do have at least one friend on here that I know is like half Japanese, so maybe she can help me out and let me know. Is that Japanese, Chinese? I don't know. Um, but this is, it's Iron Man, obviously. Uh, Arc Reactor, Tony Stark. It is an official, uh... Marvel too, so this is weird. It's like a hoodie. It's like a hoodie t-shirt a long sleeve hoodie t-shirt. It's weird I've never seen anything like this before in my life. I'm astounded right now um, But it's Iron Man talks about Italian leather belt fancy pants Armored pants expensive watch. He's got an elbow in there and a fist You know those are always good things to have when you have an Iron Man uh, He's got an eye part port an eye port eye port not an eye part uh, anyway, whoosh, let's get this thing back in the, uh, old box and, uh, see what else we have here. Oh my god, I'm looking at a couple good things right now. Hold on. Alright, so we have Alita Battle Angel. Alita Motorball Body Diorama Mini Figurine. <clears throat> um, so this is that quote um i don't stand by in the presence of evil that is from this uh as far as i can tell it's like a manga comic that's going to be turned into a movie they're doing a live action which will be released this year and next year something uh i don't know exactly who's in it but uh the chick like looks normal but they computerized her eyes so they're like these huge anime manga eyes um, you guys probably read this while I was talking, but I didn't, so I'm going to read it to you so you can now understand what it says with somebody reading it to you. Found in pieces and rebuilt by a cybernetics doctor, Alita awakens in a future world with no memory of her past. Join Alita as she learns to navigate the streets of Iron City in the sport of motorball with this Alita Battle Angel figure. Originally included in November 2018's Loot anime crate this black and white figure variant exclusive for dx was inspired by alita's original character drawings so 
<clears throat> hmm. So this is like a variant of one they released in an anime box. Yeah, is Loot Crate allowed to have variants? What does that even mean? I mean, what? I accept it, though. And it does say... What does that say? Collectible figure boss. Yeah, it doesn't say boss, but it says collectible figure. I'm going to pause it. All right, and we have here an, uh, an airbender uh, poster. I'm not seeing any information other than it's just a poster of the kid. What's his name? Uh, he's got a weird name. Any wampa. He isn't that what that thing is? He rides that water buffalo. That's a flying water buffalo. Uh, anyway, the M Night movie uh, is terrible. I guess I don't know. I've never really watched the show, and my kids have watched the M Night movie. I don't know what to base it on, but everybody says it's bad, and I can not necessarily disagree. But I can't. Wait, what? I mean, I see what they're saying. Is what I'm trying to say. By the way, I cut that real short, but what I meant to say was I'm pausing right now. I'd like to take this time now to talk to you a little bit about HelloFresh. Turn dinner stress into dinner time. Uh, I do have a $60 gift card for Dinner Fresh. It is, uh, you can claim it within 30 days, and it's something like they deliver fresh stuff to your door along with, like, menu items and stuff like that. And you get $20 off your first three deliveries plus free shipping. So that's kind of cool. Uh, I... I don't know what it is, but hey, man, sign up and uh, see what you can do here for 60 gift card dollars. All right, so this may be just about the coolest thing that's in this whole box. Uh, this is a Power Rangers Dragon Zord, like, plywood 3D puzzle. <clears throat> or maybe not even plywood, like Luan. It's a little above balsa, you know? Uh, so it has a Dragon Sword poster. No shit, that must be that thing. Collectible. Well, that's the. I don't know. Uh, easy to assemble laser cut wood pieces. That's always good. Does not include the Tommy. Step by step instructions and coloring and crafting ideas. Everything you need to build a seven inch collectible 3D Dragon Sword model. Oh my jeezum. No glue or tools needed. Using interlocking joint technology. Dude, that's a step above the rest. This model fits together securely with help from an illustrated step-by-step... Oh, dude. <clears throat> Strep-by-strep instructions. That's insane. Step-by-step. I need to learn how to read. A sample project to guide you as you create a custom collectible... Dude. I don't even know what to think. Collect them all. Incredibilds. Dude. It's got some weight to it. It feels pretty wooden. Uh, we actually sell these at Harbor Freight, like T Rexes and the fuck's the other one? Triceratops. We sell the Triceratops. So <clears throat> this is gonna be pretty cool. I wouldn't. I'm not gonna open it. I'm actually gonna keep it in that because it's got a skill level of four, and I don't even want to attempt to try this right now. <clears throat> We have just one more thing before we get to the booklet to talk about all this little goodness that we get and see what's maybe possibly waiting for us in the Mega Crate. Uh, so let's get to the loot pin and see what we have here. All right, and <clears throat> we have a Transformers loot pin, which was amazing, and I can't for the life of me remember what this... This is like the Destructicon or something? Or Destructicon? Or, or maybe that's just the big, big one and he's part of it? Uh... I don't know, but this is actually uh, a really uh, a really cool loop pin. Like, the enamel's bubbled up. It's not flat to the surface like most of the other ones have been, or that weird, solid, almost pewter-like material. Uh, this is, like... Is it enamel? Is it, like, that... Yeah, it's enamel. Oh, sorry, I keep crinkling that in what would be your ears, but it's the microphone here. Uh, anyway, this is pretty cool. You can't, you gotta, like, oh, there's his face. You really gotta, like, you see it way up there? 
All right, I'm going to pause and bring out the little brochure. All right, so just like I predicted in the beginning, this is February's, even though we are in April. Wow. Okay. I do actually have another one they sent me. Uh, so this came. It completed the tracking order on uh, my email, and then like a half hour later, I got another tracking order for uh, March's DX. So I'll be getting that on, coincidentally, 420. We'll see if that happens, right? Police will be investigating my mailbox if they see that. All right, Loot Crate original Iron Man t-shirt hoodie. You know what they say, the Iron Man suit wasn't built in a day. Take a closer look inside Tony Stark's original Mark I with his humorous cutaway illustration by Jesse Zanz. Psst, the Japanese writing translates to Iron Man. Okay, so it is Japanese. Cool. See, dude, that is... Man, I'm a clever guy sometimes. Loot Crate exclusive Avatar The Last Airbender. Transform your wall with this avatar art by Michael Matsumoto featuring Aang. Aang. I knew he had a weird name. Manipulating the four elements. It also... Oh, snap. It glows in the... Man, I'm almost half tempted just to show you guys that it glows in the dark, right? Shoot. Hold on. Let me pause this. I'm going to have to put this in the light now. All right. So I have that, like sitting in the light so after we're done all this i can uh do a quick little cut scene and show you guys what it looks like by the way i totally forgot transformation dx it's transformation time undergo a pop culture metamorphosis with cool collectibles and gear in this month's crate i feel like there was a little less emphasis on the transformation that should have been more of the Loot Crate exclusive, Alita Angel Battle Battle Angel figure. Phew, geez, man, wow! Become a fierce motorball competitor with help with this, with help from this black and white Battle Angel Loot Crate anime figure variant. I don't even, man, I can't even read right now. I'm just gonna stop. All right, like that is ridiculous. Let me try this one more time. Slow it down to 33 and a third, will ya? Alita Battle Angel figure. Become a fierce motorball competitor with help from this black and white Alita Battle Angel loot anime figure variant inspired by Alita's original character drawings. That was a little easier. <clears throat> the Transformers pen. This Generation 1 Devastator. Devastator. Not Destructicon, whatever the funk I call it. That's Devastator, guys, just so you know. Uh, Power Rangers Incredibles help stop Rita Repulsa and all her menacing monsters. Transform the Green Ranger into this dragon's over the 3D wood puddle poster. Wee -oo. Cool. Alright, now let's see though. I want to see. This is what I'm looking for. Win the Mega Crate. Every month we give away a glorious assortment of awesome items known as the Mega Crate to one lucky looter. Here's February's Mega Crate worth over $4,200. An all inclusive four night stay for two at the Hard Rock Hotel Riviera. Whoa, what? Where is this? Riviera Maya. Where is. Where is that? Plus, everybody wins. Book a three-plus night stay at the Hard Rock Hotel Rate for three. Oh, cool. You get a room upgrade if you mention this code. That's all right, man. I mean, I, I've i done this. Like, I was... I don't know. How do you win the Mega Crate? It's like they tell you, like, we'll email you and let you know if you win. But is it a lottery? Who... How do you decide? Do I have to sit here and, hey, man, let me win the Mega Crate because I think I kind of deserve it because I don't know what it is. And I think I've said this before in numerous videos, too. But I really wish I could get that Mega Crate. It would be really cool. Anyway, guys, that is my uh, Loot Crate video today. I'm sorry it was a little wonky. Uh, that open has me a little bonkers right now. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was slightly humorous, and I hope you did like the products that I got here. I got to fit them all back in this box, and I got to show you guys. <clears throat> got to do my little cut scene here. I know you guys are like, oh, now we're just looking at an empty table. Blah, blah, blah. We do this all the time at the end. Uh, hello, Fresh. Uh, put everything back here. All right, so let me give this another pause one more time. I'm going to grab this thing that's been cooking over in the light here. We're going to put it down here, shut this light off, and we're going to see if we can see these glow-in-the-dark effects. All right, so uh, it says that it glows in the dark, but... Uh, 
Can you hear that? Because it's right in front of the phone, and there's no, no glow at all here. So, I mean, I would say that that's, that's not how glowing things work, right? Um, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm probably going to go turn my light back on, uh, because it's dark. And, uh... I'm going to enjoy the rest of my night. Now that it's dark, actually, I'm going to watch the Twilight Zone movie, the old classic Twilight Zone movie. Uh, anyway, have a nice night, guys. I hope you enjoyed this Loot Crate video. I hope it encourages you at some point to sign up for Loot Crate because I would really like to share this with some of my friends. Like, I know a lot of you guys. I'm, like, the only one that talks about it, really. The only one that really knows about it. Uh, but if you guys want, sign up, man. We'll do Loot Crate unboxings. Maybe I can even partner with somebody and we can talk about how cool it is. I don't know. Whatever, you know. Maybe we can take a couple of hits off the open and do one. <laughs> We'd both be bonkers. Have a nice night, guys.